city and beauty of the historic market town of Sombate in Hungary. Founded in the Middle Ages, it's a beautiful market town that uh, means Saturday place. Well, I hope you'll forgive us then for pointing out there's a lot of fun to be had here on Sundays as well. Because after yesterday's competition in the FIG Artistic Gymnastics World Challenge Cup, we have five more event finals to bring you today. It's apparatus specialists. Now to a gymnast who is not very well known to many because of her young age, Elena Virova of Latvia. But uh, her surname is very well known, daughter of Igor Virovs. Olympic gold medalist on the floor in Sydney in 2000. Before this 17 year old was born, and she's the eighth strongest in qualification, bit over 12.05. This is very nice, a lovely walk over. A small adjustment, but of great significance. Difficult skill there because of the turn element involved. That was more secure. We'll jump into a very slightly diagonal approach into that leap. That's a very good beginning indeed to, to this balance game final from Elena Virova. Now she had a 5.2 difficulty score in qualification, which is actually entirely commensurate with a gymnast who can win the competition. There's only one other gymnast with a 5.2 difficulty in qualification, but her execution was a fair bit down, 6.85. She had some difficulties, loss of contact with the apparatus. But this looked uh, a rather transformed affair, it has to be said. Ketaru Okubo, the third strongest in qualifying. 19 year old from Aomori. It's a part of Japan that is renowned for its exquisitely beautiful national parks and rivers. He competed at the All Japan Championships in Chofu in April. So first of all, carries a 5.6 difficulty if all goes according to plan. Well, he'll take a tenth penalty for the step out of bounds. He had a tenth penalty on his second vault, not in his first in qualification. That was a vault with a 9.15 execution in qualifying from Okubo. Let's have another look back. He's got decent power in his run-up. Nice contact with the springboard. Certainly, towards the first portion of the vault, the leg form was nice. Keep the feet together. And got rotated round well. So, let's see how that compares to the 14.75 he received in qualification. I say with the hopefulness that we may, <laughs> may well see the score for the first vault. We didn't yesterday, but I'm told that uh, we're going to try to see the separate vault scores this time before the conclusion of the gymnast's work. Okubo is waiting to get the all clear to undertake his second. So 
the first score, 14.566 for Okobox. Execution down by just under a tenth, but he's also got that 0.1 penalty as well, so he's lost just over a couple of tenths. Now, he has got a little bit of execution he can make up on this second vault, having received an 8.95 for it in qualification. And he did take a 0.1 penalty for the landing in qualifying. So can he get this uh, ground back now? Let's find out. Well, he's close to a 0.1 penalty again there, Okubo. It's another powerful, nicely executed vault. Very promising from the teenager, though. Very promising indeed. Apex of the vault. So at the end of it, uh, Yapari to his uh, coaches. I, uh, I knew it or thought so, or something along those lines. 12.333 for Virova, so she's up by a few tenths from qualification. Lost 0.4 of the difficulty, but gained quite a bit on execution compared to qualifying. So that's the first confirmed score we have in. Yes, difficulty has gone up by three quarters or so of a mark for Virova. Phoebe Jakubczyk of Great Britain. 16-year-old trains at the academy. Imported